Hey everyone, uh, I would like to talk next about how to construct confidence, confidence intervals, quote unquote, by hand. Uh, by hand, I mean you're not using a function that's just going to tell you what the interval is after you've given it a data set. So what you're doing is basically manually inputting some sort of a confidence interval formula and then using uh, R to just compute the numbers. So uh, one example is suppose we are constructing a confidence interval where the population standard deviation sigma is assumed to be known. Uh, this is a, an interval that's often introduced to uh, statistics students and uh, I mean, it's not necessarily useful, but it is certainly um, uh, pedagogically useful. It's useful for teaching about confidence intervals. So uh, let's uh, see how to construct such an interval. We have our confidence level C. Uh, Z alpha is defined such that if Z is a standard normal random variable, the probability of this random, this random variable exceeding Z alpha is equal to alpha. And... Um, uh, our interval is going to be of the form x bar plus or minus z of uh, 1 minus c over 2 sigma over the square root of n. And this interval is requiring is relying on the central limit theorem to ensure its quality. Uh, well, it's either using the central limit theorem or the data came from a normal distribution and you know that the data was... Um, um, or you know what the population standard deviation is, in which case this is an exact confidence interval. Uh, if your data did not come from a normal distribution, then you're probably invoking the central limit theorem, in which case this is only going to work if your sample size is sufficiently large. Uh, so, But otherwise, it's probably going to be okay. So for what we're going to do, we're just going to have to compute all these numbers. And you're probably thinking, why am I bothering uh, teaching about this? Well, it's because it's good for you, basically. Not all intervals are coming in uh, nice R functions. There are intervals out there for which an R function doesn't exist because statistics is a really big field and not every statistics paper comes with a good R package. So um, uh, it's still good to see stuff like this. So especially since this interval, there is actually a package out there that you can install that um, could, that would compute this interval for you, but I haven't installed it. Uh, and uh, it's still a good example. So let's construct a confidence interval for the sepal length of versicolor iris flowers in the iris data set. There are 50 observations, so it should be safe to use the formula for this confidence interval given above. We want a 95% confidence interval, and we're going to assume that sigma is equal to 0 0.5. All right, so let's uh, go here uh, to get live. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is split the data set by species and get the versicolor flowers. So here is the uh, data set of flower sepal lengths and I compute the mean of the sepal lengths and uh, here's what the mean is. Uh, and then I'm going to get the critical value because I want a 95% confidence interval. I want the upper tail interval to be 0.025. So I compute Z star and then I say sigma is going to be 0.5. So then I compute the margin of error, which is going to be Z star times sigma divided by the square root of the length of the data set or the square root of N. Here's the margin of error. And I compute the confidence interval with a vector that has a lower and upper uh, bound. So we have X bar minus the margin of error, X bar plus the margin of error. So we get a vector. And in the end, this is what the vector ends up being. So this is a long way to compute confidence intervals. And that... And uh, we've done it once, so we don't need to do it again, unless, of course, we come across an interval for which an R function doesn't exist. And, you know, R is limited. You know, it's it, 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 it only has the functionality to do something if someone wrote a package or wrote a method to do it. So there's no guarantee that um, you encounter a statistical method in the wild and R will just do it for you. Uh, now that said, if you were going to go for a programming language for that paper with mysterious um, uh, statistical procedure, uh, R would be the language you would first check, but uh, that doesn't mean that it's a promise. So um, this is basically just using R like a calculator. So from this point on, we're going to 
look at how to uh, use R in a more intelligent way to just, you give it data sets and it gives you confidence intervals. All right, so uh, that will be for the next video and I look forward to seeing you there.